Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Valentine's doing a Valentine's Day inspired makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something really sultry and sexy and something that you could wear with a lot of different outfits. So I figured this one was really, really good. I do give you two lip options. This is just the darker of the two. I do give you like a nude option. And this is basically a first impression slash review slash try on for the first time makeup haul as well because I bought a lot of new drugstore products and I'm using them for the very first time in this video. And I really like it. I think it's girly and sexy and smoky and, um, you know, very, very pretty. And I really, really like this. So if you can't decide what to wear on Valentine's Day, at least you'll know what your makeup is going to look like. But I hope you enjoy watching it and here we go. So yeah, I bought a lot over the past couple weeks. Um, I'm going to start with foundation and this is not brand new. I did do a review and demo and first impression. I will link that down below, but I absolutely love this. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, it's really, really dewy, really, really pretty, and has really good coverage. Moving on to concealer, I'm going back to my old and trusty Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I just recently bought a new one, and I forgot how much I love this. I love this. <laughs> if you have not tried this, what are you doing with your life? It's super lightweight, but covers so much. So I'm just going to blend this in with my same foundation brush. I find that this helps blend everything together really nicely. I've been doing it a lot lately instead of using a separate concealer brush. So moving on, this is a brand new powder. I haven't used it yet. This is the Dream Wonder, I think it's a powder foundation actually by Maybelline. And it's really nice. I really like how it looks. It doesn't look cakey. Now, moving into this contour palette. Be careful, it's so pigmented. I had to blend this out. But... It is beautiful. The color, this is the lightest trio, and it's beautiful. I love the colors that are in it. It's really good if you're very fair skinned, like me. And the blush, I definitely did not go as ham into the blush palette as I did the contour. And I just think they're really, really pretty. They blend really nicely, and they're pigmented, and the highlighter is bomb. So I put it everywhere. <laughs> So moving on, this is a new product. This is the Maybelline Master Studios eyeshadow primer. And I forget what color I have it in, but I will list it down in the description box. But it's really nice. I mean, it's just kind of a light wash of color. I wasn't crazy impressed, and I did set it with a powder. Going into my Gwen Stefani palette, um, I'm just going to go in with the color Stark. This is basically to set the eyeshadow primer as well as kind of get some warmth going to help blend all my colors together. Then moving on to the color zone. I'm just kind of sloppily blending these on, focusing most of the product on the outer corner, but really, really working on the blending of it and not so much uh, the placement. So going in with the same color, I'm just going in with a little bit denser brush. Then moving into this color, which is called Punked. It's my favorite color of this palette and definitely concentrating this on the outer corner um, again very sloppily I didn't have like a piece of tape or anything to mark it off I just really really wanted it to be blended and smoked out so it didn't really matter to me so much if it looked kind of messy um, going into the color blonde I really really love this color as a highlight and I really wanted to make sure that the inner corners were really bright so my eyes didn't look really closed off Sometimes not brightening the inner corner can make your eyes look small. So I'm making sure to blend that out. And then I'm also going to add that color right underneath my brows. And have a little dance break. <laughs> so now I'm going to do a winged liner. And I'm using my NYC Liquid Liner in Black. I love this. I've been using this forever and ever and ever. And I show you a little bit how I do it. But then I get so close to the mirror that I end up getting out of frame or out of focus so now I'm adding my favorite part of this look and this is my lashes and these are the salon salon perfect lashes in the style C614 my goodness I cannot talk they're really wispy and girly and just really pretty 
So now I'm moving on to this new mascara. Um, I'm not crazy about the wand. I usually like natural bristles. And let me tell you, make sure you wipe off the brush before you apply it because so much product is on that brush. It kind of got everywhere and I had to clean it up. Now moving on to this L'Oreal Silk Kissimmee, I think is how you say it, eyeliner pencil. This is a very gold eyeliner and I really love this. It's super creamy, went on really, really easy. Now just going back into that punked color that we used in the darkest outer corner of our eye, I just blended that down and I did a little bit farther than I normally would. Now I'm just adding some mascara on the bottom lashes as well and like I said, please wipe it off before you go in for the first time because there is so much product on that brush. Now I'm using the new Brow Stylist by L'Oreal and I'm not sure how I like this. I really like the pencil. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. However, the color was a little bit too gray for me. This is the color Darkest or Dark Brunette and I kind of wish I just went with the regular brunette color. But I still really liked how it looked and it was really easy to use. So now for the lips, this is option number one. This is the new Matte Vivids collection. And again, I don't have the color on me, but I will have that listed down in the bottom bar. This is a very peachy nude color, which I really liked. It kind of brought out warmth from the eyes. But then option number two is my favorite, and this is by NYX. This is their Lip Suede Creams, and this is in the color Cherry Skies. I really like this lip color. I think that it pulls it together. It makes it look more like nighttime and kind of just... I think accentuates the eye better. And that is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it with your friends and family and anybody else that you know or don't know. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I have like all of the social media platforms. And also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, press a big red button, and join my little family here on YouTube. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!